In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a customer specific pricing in WooCommerce using two different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite wholesale plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So now the second step, assuming you've downloaded the WooSuite wholesale plugin, is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the WooSuite core plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key. Once you've done so, it will redirect you to the add-on section. And then from here, you'll be able to go ahead and activate the wholesale pricing module. So I'm going to activate this here. And I'm also going to activate the wholesale pro module as well, because that will give us some extra features, which I'll discuss later on in the video. So once you've activated both of these, you just want to go ahead and click manage here. And then from here, we can create different user roles, right? So, so the different user roles will allow us to create that customer specific pricing. If you wanted to set a specific pricing for a specific customer as well, you can also do so. But in my case, I've got the distributor role here and let's add a, another role as well, another user role. I'm, I'm gonna say wholesale VIP, right? So in this box, this box has to be um, a lowercase and it has to be separated by a hyphen or lowercase as well. It says it in this note here. And then for the display name, you can name it whatever you like. And this is what the user will see on the front end. And then where it says copy from, this is where we'll copy the capabilities from an existing user role. So we'll copy it from the customer user role. So it'll have exactly the same privilege as a regular WooCommerce customer. So I'm just going to click add role here. Okay, and that's been added successfully. So now let's go ahead and create our customer specific pricing. I should have mentioned at the start of this video that we can do this um, in two different ways. So the first way is this that I'm showing you now, and I'll show you the second um, method as well um, as we go on throughout the video. Everything will be timestamped, so it'll be easy to navigate. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit one of our products. Okay, I'm going to edit this single product here. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay, and then here we've already got um, our wholesale pricing rule. So here we get to choose who we want to target this rule to. Okay, so we can set it for everyone or we can set it for guest users, which are users logged out of our site or a specific user role. And in the newer version as well, you can target a specific user. So there'll be an option for you to select a specific user. So in my case, I'm going to select a user role. Okay, and I'm going to select our wholesale VIP user role. Because I'm logged in as admin, I'm going to select admin as well, just so we can see the price um, change on the front end. So let's set this to um, £10. And then for our wholesale price, let's set it to um, £5. Keep it super simple. If we wanted to add um, a different pricing, we can just click add new rule here. And then when we can target a different um, user segment as well. So I'm just going to X this off. And then let's go ahead and update this. So typically the product should be um, at £10, but since I've included admin in the rule, we should be able to see it for £5. So let's just double check this. Okay, perfect. So now we can see as £5. It's showing that it's on sale here. If you didn't want that to display, we'll head back over to our main um, settings area here. So I'm using an um, a older version of this plugin, but there should be an option here which says uh, show wholesale prices only or something like that okay so there'll just be a toggle box here and then when you do this it will um, stop treating it as a sale price okay so these sale tags will display and all that particular user will be able to see is the price that you've set for them but again since I'm using an older version it'll display just fine on yours okay let's say you wanted to create different promotional offers right per customer so let's say if you wanted to offer a um, volume based discount based on a user role or the sp specific user then to do that what you'd actually do is i'll navigate back to add-ons here okay so depending on the package that you chose um, on checkout you'll have access to this dynamic price and discount rules plugin here so i'm just going to toggle this on and this will allow us to create various different pricing structures for our customers so i'm just going to click manage here and this will take us over to our global settings let's navigate to user role so if we click roles here we can give a specific user role a particular discount for example our wholesale customers are getting a 50 percent discount 
out on all um, products. So we can create specific offers for a particular user group or user. Um, for example, here I've created this buy one, get one free offer here. So basically if the user buys um, a product within our clothing category, they'll receive a discount in our clothing category. And then where it says applies to, we get to choose. So this is what your version of the wholesale pricing will look like. So you'll have four options here. So you can select everyone or you can select guest users, which are users logged out of your site or a specific user role or even a specific user as well. Okay, so I'm just going to select everyone just for this example. And then here I've chosen a processing type as a special offer. So you want to use special offer when you want to do promotion offers such as buy X, receive X off or buy one, get one free. Or you can select um, bulk pricing, which is volume based pricing, or you can select tiered based pricing, or you can create a bonded discount. So um, buy two product, buy three products from our clothing category for $90, for example. This is your bundled discount. So we've created loads of videos um, based on what type of offer you want to create with this particular plugin. Hopefully you're not overwhelmed um, at this stage. We can create similar offers on a product level as well. So if I refresh this page, since we've activated a dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. So if I refresh this page, we should see a new option here. Okay, so we can see this pricing discount option here. So you wanna go ahead and click add um, pricing group. And similar to the global level, we get to choose who we want this um, discount to apply to. Okay, so we can select, for example, a specific um, user. I'm not sure which user I'm logged in as, so I'm just gonna set this to everyone. <laughs> and you can set this offer to apply to first time buyers only. The discount will be based on the product quantity. And I'm just going to create a basic um, volume based price in here. So I'm just going to select bulk. And then here I'm going to say um, if a user purchase one to five items, they'll receive a percentage discount of let's say 5%. And then I'll click this plus icon to add a new tier. And then we can say if the purchase six to 10, they'll receive a percentage discount of 7%. And then finally, if the purchase 11 and above, so I'm going to select 11 here, and then we use the asterisk sign for above, they'll re receive a percentage discount of 10%. Okay, so let's go ahead and update this. So if you wanted as well, you can create numerous different um, pricing groups. So you can click this add new pricing group here to add a different one, or you can duplicate this one for faster editing. Okay, so I'm just going to update this. And now when we refresh this page, we should see our new pricing structure. Okay, perfect. So here you can see this price pricing table as well. You can disable this table. It's um, totally up to you. So here we can see we're getting 5% um, discount because the items between one and five. Okay, so that's just a quick look at two different methods in how you can create a customer specific pricing within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. Okay, so just a quick recap of the first method it uses our wholesale pricing plugin, which allows you to create fixed discount based on a user role or the specific user. And then the second method use our dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin, which allows you to create more complex pricing structure, again, based on a user role or the specific user. So you can create offers like buy one, get one free, um, bulk discount pricing. Um, tiered pricing, bundled discounts, and so much more with the dynamic discount pricing rules plugins. But your use case will determine which plugin you go for. Again, it depends on the package as well that you go for. Maybe all those plugins will be included so you can pick and choose whenever it suits you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.